Hi guys, this evening we are going to be doing a Pilates session specifically for the lower limb. Okay, so really working out the legs. Lots of core stability going to be needed. And obviously we're going to be using the upper body in order to stabilise us. But yes, absolutely dominating those legs today. If you've got some looped resistance bands, it'd be fantastic for you to have access to those as well. If not, don't worry. I'm going to do it without and I will tell you how to implement it if you have. Alrighty, so just make sure that you're safe and you're healthy in order to do these exercises. If any doubt, just go to your GP or alternatively, you can contact me with any questions you may have. Okay, that being said, let's get moving on to our exercise program. Okay, so lots of work. Please feel free to pause at any time. Get yourself a little drink. I know, I've got mine ready for me. Alright, so we're going to start with a little warm-up, full body. We're going to bring our feet all the way together. Turn our toes out like Charlie Chaplin and turn the heels out into that alignment as well. Roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen through the back of the neck, and just soften the ribcage down towards the chest. We're creating a little bit of a shortened distance between the ribcage and that pubic bone. We're going to set the centre, so working the abdominals across the front, and give our sit bones, our bum cheeks, a little squeeze, about 30%. Okay, keeping a nice strong pelvis, so we're going to rock the weight forward onto our toes, and then gently rock the weight back onto our heels. And again, rocking the weight forward onto our toes, and then letting that weight fall back, lifting the toes as you roll backwards. And again, one more time, falling forwards and then gently rocking back, toes lift. The next time, come all the way up onto those toes and then gently lower down, rocking the weight back. And again, all the way up. Hold for a split second at the top if you can, gently down. Okay, keeping those shoulders back, we're going to keep on going. We get a bit of a breath going on the next one. So we're going to try to breathe in as we roll back, breathe out to lift, breathe in to lower and roll back. As you breathe out, just try to get a little bit more of an abdominal contraction. Breathe in, relax the ribs, breathe out, increase that abdominal work. Breathe in, relax the ribs, breathe out, increase that abdominal work. Last one, and we're going to bring the, shoulder, the hands up to shoulder height and stay up there, please. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit more of the knees moving now. So we're going to drop those knees down, lower the heels to the floor, and gently stand ourselves up. So we're going to float heels and hands, bend just the knees, lower the heels to the floor, and gently stand up. And again, continue in this, what we call a foot series, just starting to warm the body up. Four movements, all the way up. One, knee bend, two, drop the heels, three, stand up four and we'll do two more of those before we reverse that movement we're going to really try to keep our tummy engaged and really long through the back of the neck ready for a reversal knee bend heel lift stand up lower down knee bend heel lift stand up lower down and we'll go for three and just keep your breathing natural, guys, on this one. Your most important part is getting balance and making sure our tummy is nice and strong. Okay, stay up on the next one, guys. Stay up there, heels lifted. And we're just going to knee bend. So knee bend, knee straighten. Knee bend, knee straighten. Breathing out on the way down, breathing in on the way up. Three and two. And we're going to stay down there and pulse at the bottom so the heels are lifted and we're just working through a little pulse through those knees, through those hips, shoulders are back, tummy's engaged, almost lifting your belly button up to your spine, gently up, lower the heels, lower the hands. And again, quick shake off. Okay, two shoulder rolls, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Two full arm circles, again all the way through the chest all the way through those shoulders. Alrighty, bring the hands onto the hips for me. Turn the toes out, turn the heels out. We're gonna do some side leg lifts. So soften the knees. Knees just point out a little bit towards that second toe line. Shift the weight across onto one foot, straightening out the other. So a bent knee, straight hips, shoulders back, point the toe, and do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five four three two one and stay there just take that foot behind you about three inches don't turn the torso 
keep the soft ribs at the front, and then go for 10 more. 10, 9, 8. Just kicking behind you slightly. 4, 3, 2, 1, and bring it back in line. So feet in line again. Flex the ankle. Make sure we're still bending that knee that you're standing on. Turn the knee out. Straighten that knee. And heel taps. 10, 9, 8. So the knee's pointing up to the ceiling. Bent knee that we're standing on. Lovely and strong through your tummy. Point the toe. And then put the heels down. And straight, straight across to the other side. Point that toe. In line. Shoulders back. Hips are level still. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Leg behind us. Just a few inches. 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to the midline. So everything's in line. Hips are still level. Flex the ankle. Turn that knee and foot space the ceiling. Straighten out through the heel. And go for 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Foot down. Gently up in the middle. Okay, last one here. Standing. Turn the heels out one more time. Turn those toes out. I've got to release that back. Okay, so we're a little bit of a wide plie squat now. Okay, guys. Hands on hips. Because as we sink down, we're going to try initially... To keep the torso very straight, okay? Very easy to lower ourselves down on these ones, but we're gonna work the first few trying to be as tall as we can. So let's put our thumbs on our rib cage and our fingertips towards our hip bones. We wanna keep that distance about the same, okay, guys? So we're not rolling our back forward, we're not arching the back as well, keeping this nice, strong torso around the front. And a pulse again at the bottom, please. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, keep going, <laughs> 2, stay down there, lift one heel, lower, lift the other heel, lower, and we'll go for 8, 7, my torso isn't moving, 6, 5, get a little bit lower, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5 more pulses, 4, 3, low, 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 and gently come up. Well done, guys. Walk those feet gently back in again. Okay, now to the floor. So, at the edge of the mat, facing in towards the length of your mat, roll the shoulders back and down and face forward. We're going to roll down to the mat now, guys, so just for a four point meal. So, drop the chin to the chest, roll the shoulders forward, sink through, very, very curved, and then bend your knees to get your hands flat to the floor. Walk yourself forward until we're in this nice, Four point kneel position. Okay, so we're going to warm up our back in this position. We've got quite a lot to do here. So we can let the chest drop in between our elbows and then lift the chest quite high, a little round of the back. Drop the chest and lift the chest. So we're not bending the elbows. Also, a little shoulder blade, lift and lower, spread the shoulder blades and then squeeze the shoulder blades. We'll do one more up and down. And kind of go halfway until you find your kind of flat middle back, okay? We're going to lengthen through the back of the neck, but then bring that chin in. So that again, the neck is in line with the rest of the spine. We're going to tuck the toes under and go for a leg pulling probe. Preparation, level one. Spread those fingers, soften the elbows if you are hypermobile. And then we're going to set the centre as we float the knees off the floor. And gently lower them down. It's not that far, is it, guys? So we're lifting what's from the shoulder and lowering it down. Our back stays beautifully level. Again, if you've got a mirror, have a check. What's that lower back doing? We'd love it to be flat, okay? Very easy again to drop the lower back, go very arched. Let's lift the rib cage up a little bit more. Imagine you've got a T light underneath your chest. And you're always trying to lift your ribs away from the little flame or that little tea light. So stay at the top of the next one, please, guys. Bum flicks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And gently down. One more time, guys. Okay, lengthen through the back of the neck. Lift the ribs. Set the centre. Float the knees up. 10, 9, 8, 7, Five, high chest, three, two, 
one, and gently down. Have a quick drink before we move into leg pull in prone level two. Thanks for the wait, guys. So we're starting in the four point kneel if you haven't already moved from there. And we're going to take our hands out in front of us. One and a half hand positions. So take your time getting there. Okay, spread those fingers again, nice and um, big um, surface area of your hands on the floor. Sorry guys, please do not block. We're going to make sure that the bottom starts over the knees with a big angle at the shoulder. That's fine to begin with. Again, lift the chest, set the centre and four movements. Lift the knees, then we shoot forward, we roll all the way back, knees hovered and we lower the heels down just at that last minute. So really small movements with those knees. Lift the knees, shoot forward, come back, Soften the knees and again. One, two, three, four. Keep going. One, two, three, four. Now on the breath, we're just trying to keep it nice and natural, okay? We're going to go forward to that press up position. And this time we're going to roll back, but not put the knees down before we roll forward again. So we roll back, roll forward. Breathe in, breathe out. As you push forward, squeeze your bum cheeks. Roll back, squeeze your bum cheeks. Three, squeeze. Two, squeeze. One, stay forward, guys. Stay lifted, okay? In line, straight leg lift and down. Nine, eight, seven. Set the center, good. Five more, four. Don't let the bum lift up too far. Three. Two, one, hold, all the way back, drop the knees, relax the toes, and lower yourself down. Well done, guys. Just let the head rest for a second. We're going to rotate the wrists, let their stress get off of those. We're going to let the upper body relax for a minute. Let's do some prone line work, okay? So on our tummies now, please, guys. Gently get yourself down and comfortable. I think I'm going to lose <laughs> my foam roller. You can stay down there. Right. So, we have just our head rested on our hands, okay, preferably looking down, keeping the spine in line, but obviously you need to see what you're doing to start off with. Feet hip distance apart, lovely strong through those legs. And lengthen the tailbone down a little bit. So we're going to get a little bit of bum cheek work, eat, helping us set our centre. Straight one leg up and down. The other leg up and down. Just going to alternate those sides. Now the aim, guys, is to really lengthen that leg, okay? So it's not about how high can I lift, it's about how long can I make my leg. So really think about reaching to that side wall, trying to reach your toe to kind of press that red button. You're not allowed to press. Keep the shoulders now away from the ears. Make sure the shoulder blade muscles are nicely engaged. Keep one leg up. And then do a quick change across, quick change across, quick change. Now, whilst you're quick changing, let's make sure that the movement's coming from the hip. Really easy to start kind of flapping those knees about. We want locked straight knees. So tense your quads, those thigh muscles at the front of your leg. Let's get them tense and still focusing on the length. Now quicker. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, whilst we're going quickly, squeeze the bum cheeks, lengthen that tailbone down and away from the crown of your head, making your spine really, really long. And last but not least, quicker. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, last bit. Woo! Glutes are killing. <laughs> okay, keep going. Keep breathing. Keep breathing normally. One last slow breath in, breath out, and lower. Fantastic, guys. Okay, hands under shoulders. Push yourself up, and again, just let yourself have a quick rest there. Before we go back to four point kneel, okay, my little t shirt in now. So we go back to four point kneel, okay, we're going to just work on an exercise called swimming, swimming level four. So it's one leg goes out straight behind you as the other leg, as the other arm goes. We lift, and again, it's the reach before we lower, okay, and the other side, reach, lift lower and in. So try to keep in contact with the floor, kind of for as long as you possibly can. 
before you do that lift, if we can. So we're going to lift out straight and down three more times. And then on the third one, you're going to hold it out there. So this time, hold it out there. So lift the chest, lift that arm, and then just with a straight leg behind you, tap the toe down and lift. Tap the toe down and lift. Okay, fantastic. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then in. Straight into the other side, lift. Let's get really high out of that chest. Taps, one, two, three, four, five, whew, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Okay, just the leg this time. It goes up, it comes out, it comes back, and it goes in. So stretch up, wide, in, and down, up, wide, in, and down. Okay, up, just one. This time, five times on one side, out and in. Now the aim is to try to keep the foot at hip height. Don't let that drop down. Keep the heel nice and high. There's five. Other side, five again. Five, four. Now what's the lower back doing? We want to keep the lower back nice and tall, nice and long. Okay, four and five and in. And quick rest. Hopefully that back, those glutes starting to feel a bit of work. That would be fantastic. Not too much on the shoulders though. We want the legs to be doing a lot of that workload. Okay. Back down to our front. So back on resting our upper body. And we're going to take that kind of side work a bit further again. So long back of the neck, long torso, set the centre. Straighten both legs now. And let's have the legs touching, knees touching, ankles touching. Reach both legs up and away. Take them wide, bring them in. Take them wide, bring them in. Okay, now keep on going. Now guys, listen, if you feel it in your lower back, you must stop, okay? This exercise here is supposed to be for your glutes, getting those bum cheek muscles working. If you're feeling it in your lower back, that means it's dipping, okay? We want to keep our nice and long lower back. If you've got quite a curvy lower back, you might want to prop up your torso here. So maybe put a little pillow underneath your waist to help support that. But again, just do that with guidance, okay? Please feel free to contact me if that's happening. Your legs are still going in and out. Still a little starfish. Starfish in and out. And we'll do two more. So really work into endurance. Last one. And lengthen. Woo, rest down. Okay, last stretch out. Into a little shell stretch. A little child pose. Woo, little rest. Okay, moving on to our backs on the next one. So I'm going to tuck the ball onto my head now. It's mostly for comfort. So put a little block under there if you want to, a little pillow. It's not a problem. And we're going to start off heels in close to our bottom. Okay. Long arms, shoulders wide. Again, that nice soft rib cage. So we're kind of pressing the rib cage down into the floor and setting that centre across the front. We're going to go for a one leg stretch, level three. I'll give you a slightly easier version if you want to. But we start with that centre set and a single leg tabletop. Okay. We deepen the abdominal connection. So it's not 100% abs. Okay. We need these exercises to work muscles that are for endurance, not just power. So it's really working for your tummy, but drawing the rib cage down towards that pubic bone. Okay. So level three is where we breathe out on the one leg stretch and breathe in. That's it. Breathing out and breathing in. Now we're going to keep on going side to side. Okay, now level two is only one leg up. So the other leg's on the floor. So if you need that little bit of extra support, please feel free to take it. Breathing out and breathing in. And we're going to keep on going. Okay, now to make it a little bit more quad dominant, as you stretch out, I'm just going to get you to turn the knee outwards from that 10 o'clock position and bring it in. And turn the other knee out to the two o'clock position. But again, straighten up when you bring it in. So we're turning out and then turning it in. Turning out and in. Look at my stop. It's just turning away and then facing the ceiling again. Turning away and then coming in again. You're going to breathe out and breathe in. Keep the knees over the hips. You're not bringing them in close to the body. No cheating. 
no old school gym bicycle. It's really controlled through our torso. Now we're going to quick change with a straightened quick change. So we breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Remember, you should not feel this in the lower back. It should all be felt in your tummy and those thighs. Don't bring the knees too far in. And if you feel it in the lower back, you stop like this. Hug your knees into your chest. Roll them out. Okay, little circles with the knees. Okay, it's a little bit of mobility through those hips. Relax shoulders still. Okay, nice little circles if you want to. And let's do one quick knee into the chest. Turn the knee away. Bring it back. Switch legs. Knee, one knee into the chest. Turn the knee away. Knee back. And again, three more rocks. Two one and then legs are going to come down okay so we want nothing under our head for the next one popping that ball block or pillow away and we're going to work on scissors level five one of my most favorite exercise in the entire pilates repertoire beautiful hamstring length so let's go single leg tabletop deepen the abdominal connection for the second leg and this time we're going to bring the chin towards our chest we're going to bring that breastbone up towards our knees, okay? But the base of our shoulder blades is still on the floor, all right? Lengthen and really flatten down that tummy as you bring both hands behind one foot. Straighten that leg in the air and then straighten the other leg down. So we're nice and high. We're scooped. We're really strong in our tummy. So we're going to breathe in and pulse with our leg twice. We're going to switch. We're going to keep on going. So the little pulse is just to try to get a little bit more hamstring length. Now at any point, if your neck's feeling it, just put your head down. All right, so this is a leg workout. It's a lower limb dominant. So as, as long as you're keeping those legs really straight, that's the key thing. Now you guys, please keep on going with that breath. Okay, breathe in, breathe in. And that slow, long breath out. Chin into the chest if you want to. And again, guys, no bouncing. The upper body, I can't be there to tell you off. So no bouncing with the upper body. It's just the leg. Woo! I'm going to go for three, two, all the endurance today. One, and both the knees hug back into the chest. And you should really be feeling it down into that tummy back now. One leg down at a time, we're going to turn onto our side. So we're going to bring the arms back into play a little bit here with a side, uh, side lift, level two. Okay, so we're going to have our feet stacked, our knees stacked. And from our hip, we want the hands to be about one, two, three hand positions. So give us quite a nice equal triangle. Have a look at that. Long, long top arm. Bottom rib cage lifted. So really working through that lift through the chest, long back of the neck, quite a snobby chest before we go. And the lift is simply up and down. The hips will travel forward slightly, but we're not exaggerating that lift or that push forward too much. It's a lift of the hips up to the ceiling and a lower. And we'll do one more and stay up on the next one. Hold it there. And again, this is leg dominant. So heels touching, clam number one, and down. Two, three, fantastic. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knee down, hip lifted, even higher. Straighten that leg away. Straight leg. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, hip lift, three, two, one, knees bend, hold it, check. Were you as high as you started? Hope so, lower down. Fantastic, spin those legs around, let's go to the other side. Okay, so hand in from the hip, one, two, three, I'm quite ahead of my mat now, I'm going to shimmy down a little bit. Feet stack, knees stack, turn the chest, lift that rib cage, arms long snobby chest yeah quite important actually 
You're gonna breathe in, breathe out to lift, breathe in to lower. Four, three, two, stay up there, straighten the legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I haven't forgotten. Plant. 10, 9, hips lift. 8, 7. So I'm not twisting my pelvis, it's just the leg. Okay, guys, four more. Three, how high is your hips, guys? How high? How strong is the tummy? Two, and one, and hold. Gently down. Fantastic. Back to the original side. Whew, quick side lining all the way down. I'm going to prop up my hand, but you can put a little pillow there if you want to. Straight legs, okay, very, very straight legs. Just bend the bottom knee slightly, tiny, tiny bend, because sometimes this side kick exercise can be quite about balance, but we really want to work those legs, today, okay? So let's focus that dominant on that. Strong tummy, lengthen that top hip down the waist. So you're kind of creating a little space under your waist and lift that top leg just up to hip height, no higher, no lower. Point the toe. I'm going to sweep that leg forward, flex it when it's out, and draw the heel backwards. So we're going to bend and point the toe, flex it back. So we're almost imagining our toes a bit like a paintbrush, okay? We're going to paint this beautiful line. In front, that's lovely and long. Now again, you'll see my upper body, hopefully, I'm not doing too much work. This is just the top leg. Just the top leg only is allowed to work here. And we're gonna do it for three, two, beautifully long, stable upper back. One, and hold, shoulders back, hold for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Make the leg longer, three, two, one and down. Nearly there, guys. Other side. Other side. All in the legs. All in the legs. Okay. Lengthen. 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 Both those legs. Now reach, reach, reach. Block the underarm. Shoulder down. Soften the bottom knee. Point the toe. Lift it. Hip height. Sweep it forward. Flex the heel back. Nine. Eight. going. Five, reach the leg. Four, no swinging in the hips. Fantastic. Two more. Stretch. Come on, guys. Hamstring stretch. Last one. Hold it at hip height. Pointy toe. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Now stabilize the upper body. Five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Okay. Up. Up onto a kneel. Okay. I'm going to give you two versions here, guys, two versions, because sometimes it can be quite a lot on those knees. So it's a high kneel, okay, high kneel, lean back. Right, so just cross body, okay, nice and strong, relaxed upper body. So movement one is going to be lift the high kneel and lower back to the low kneel, okay. Lovely tall chest. As you go through this movement, no rocking forward to take you there, okay? None of that. Beautifully tall chest up and down. Now, most of you, I'm going to go side on to demonstrate this. We're going to stay up, and the movement's going to come right from our knees. So I'm almost imagining that we're stiff as a board and just bringing ourselves up. Stiff as a board, shoulder to knee, and then lift again. We're going to breathe in. Good. So we're getting a little bit of a quad stretch as you pull back. We're really working to come back. Now, as we're going, we're going to think about doing a backwards tilt. So squeeze your bum cheeks, okay? Lift that pubic bone almost up towards your nose. Breathing out and breathing in. Breathing out and breathing in. Last one. Breathing out, breathing in and tuck your toes under. Just sit back on your toes. Okay, half an hour, I think that's enough. Let's just do a quick static stretch off, okay? So let's kind of come onto a little 
little proposal pose, I call it, okay? Hands on hips, hip flexor stretch. Okay, traditional, really, really low. Okay, fine. Let's dominate that hip flexor by tucking the tailbone under. So really exaggerate that posterior pelvic tilt. Squeeze that bum cheek. Keeping the chest lifted, just push your pelvic forward ever so slightly. And you should really get it very, very high, but very, very deep in there, okay? Squeeze that bum cheek of the leg that's on the floor. It should really help kind of deepen that hip flexor isolated stretch. Ease off, and then take that front foot and just straighten it out, okay? If your foot doesn't touch the floor, just lift it up, that's fine. And again, tall chest, let your bum travel backwards, your flat back comes forward. That should give you the best stretch back in that hamstring. Again, lots of you I'm sure can round the back. That doesn't show me how flexible you are. It's the movement at the pelvis. So drop that chest forward as your hips travel back. I guarantee that will get a better hamstring stretch and ease off. Switch your knees over. Okay, at the top, we're just doing our backwards tilt. Backwards tilt. Squeeze the bum cheeks. Push, push, push. Little push, but chest stays back. Backwards tilt's the main thing. Oh, ease off. Walk that foot forward. Okay. Bum goes back. Chest drives forward. If you can, do a forwards tilt of your pelvis. So lift the tailbone up to the ceiling and hopefully it's that little bit of a better stretch for the back of that hamstring. Don't pull that toe up, remember guys. Again, really old school. Pull the toe up to deepen the stretch. It doesn't really get the hamstrings. It's more pulling in those nerves and we, we want to generally leave them alone. Okay? And again, last one, through the front, quad. Okay? I guarantee this version one of the best quad stretches you've ever had. So hold one knee, uh, sorry, hold one foot behind you and bring that heel into your chest, into your bum. Fine. Normal. You normally do this in standing. Okay, but two things we're going to change here. One, the backwards tilt. So tuck your tailbone under. So lift that pubic bone up and squeeze both bum cheeks together. That should give you the best hands, uh, quad stretch you've had in a while. Okay, just do one breath in and breath out, holding it. To really make your face change, a little grimace is perfect. And then just bend the hips, release the foot, grab the other foot, push those hips forward. Backwards tilt of your pelvis, squeeze both bum cheeks together, and wow, that's where we should be. Okay, one more breath in and breath out. Hips back, drop down, tuck your toes under, sit yourself back. I was really hoping to do some lunges with you guys today, but I did say half an hour in my head and I will leave it at that. But throw a couple in if you want to do a little bit more big standing movements through those legs. But for now, put your hands in front, sit yourself back on the heels, lift your bottom up, drop the head down and just start to roll up through one vertebrae at a time. Get the hair up. Big stretch for the back of the shoulders. Relax, shrug as you breathe in, oh, hands out, breathe in, stretch, heels up, breathe out, circle, take it off, hopefully you've got a bit of jelly leg going on now guys, thank you so much for watching and as always any questions please feel free to get in touch with me, Christina at Fitworks, take care, bye bye now.